Deep within the walls of Hollenbeck Hall, Garrett Voss is emerging as one of the young stars for St. Cloud State Wrestling. Garrett's quiet, um, but he leads by example. He's one of those uh, leaders, and you know, that's okay. And uh, not just a great leader um, on the mat, but off the mat, as you mentioned in the locker room, you know, away from wrestling. I believe he's doing the right things, living a championship lifestyle, and you know, that, that also makes him successful. In 2019, the sophomore has already made his mark as one of the best wrestlers in the country. He's a really good wrestler, obviously, and he just got uh, done defeating the returning reigning national champion from Pitt Johnstown in a convincing fashion. So it wasn't just a fluke win for him or, uh, you know, he went out and dominated the match and uh, all three periods and, you know, uh, did a great job. I really like to watch film or like really look at, look at too many things my opponent does. So then I'm just thinking about what they want to do instead of what I want to do. and so. I didn't really do that, but it was the mentality was just like, nah, we, we train for these situations every day in practice, so it's nothing like really different. You just gotta go out there and wrestle and uh, just keep going hard the whole time. A complete package on the mat, Voss has few weaknesses and possesses many tools that give him the competitive edge. He does a great job getting, getting to leg attacks and does a great job finishing. He's super hard to score on, as I mentioned. He's, he's got excellent scrambling ability and uh, just does a fantastic job wrestling through every position. So, um, like I said, he, he's, he's good at his top game, he's good in neutral, uh, does a great job getting off from the bottom and makes him a complete wrestler. I think I like to vary it up. Like, it's not just the same leg attack coming at you every single time, so it's like different. <laughs> So it obviously makes it harder to stop, but I don't know, just varying your attacks and different moves. My pace, like, I don't know, a lot of guys are good in the first period, but then they start to fall off. So I think just keeping that same pace from the first period until the end is a huge factor, and I, I think I've done a decent job at that. Even with all the accolades, Garrett continues to work tirelessly to improve his game. It's not like last year I had some trouble like uh, getting ready and like being ready right off the whistle. So that's one of the things I've had to work on this year is kind of flipping a switch in my head and just as soon as I'm more running out on the mat I need to be ready and like in practice just when we're going live I need to flip that switch. So I don't think, you know, wrestling doesn't come easy for a lot of people. You know, he's a kid on a consistent basis that comes in day after day, works really hard at it and wants to get better. And that's what makes him uh, a special wrestler. With all of the hard work and dedication, Voss is looking ahead to spring to compete for some hardware. Definitely has the ability to be a national champion sooner than later. He's only a redshirt sophomore. But if he does all the right things and lives the right lifestyle in terms of you know, nutrition, sleep habits, taking care of his body, there's no doubt that he can be on top of that podium in March. That'd uh, be un unbelievable. So. Uh, I'm just working as hard as I can to uh, be as ready as I can, working on things I can control, and just, yeah, I'd be, that's, the, that's the goal for this year. So.